This is Dr. Jody Fireball. Welcome to another uh, one of our mini videos, training videos that we're doing. And we just want to get not only information out there that will help you, but also information out there that will make a difference in your life. And the title of this is, What Do I Consider with an MLM and Network Marketing Company? The title of this video is, What Should I Consider Looking at an MLM Company? I mean, you need to understand that you must be sold on four things in this industry, and, and this is this is critical that you be sold on these things even before uh, you start working your business. You got to be sold on the company. You got to be sold on your products. You got to be sold on the compensation plan, and you also have to be sold on you. These are four things that you have to be sold on before you should ever really truly move into working this business. Now, what we're going to do in this video, we're going to take a look at your network marketing company and what you need to know to consider it and, to, and about it to talk about it and, and feel comfortable about it. See, there are certain things you need to know about it that will become part of your own presentation. But what do you need to consider to choose a great MLM company in order to be really sold on it and to really be connected to it? Good question. And people also want to know that you represent a good solid, stable network marketing company. They will want to know uh, about certain issues and facts and topics and details and areas about your company, and you need to cover them to some degree. I mean, put yourself in their place. Come on. If you were looking to join a network marketing company, what would you look for? You could be, you know, I could be totally sold on the, my company and my products and my compensation plan as well as myself, but you would still be in the looking mode. What would you be looking for? Well, basically, there are five areas that you need to consider in order to know about and choose a great MLM company that's right for you. And from that, you must understand that this, this company, if you will, uh, has certain things that you need to research, if you will. Number one is the management. You need to understand that the management is critical for a company. Who is the CEO and founder of your company? What is the story behind the founding of the company? What kind of experience and reputation do the management staff uh, have to tell about? What makes them unique and different than, than all the rest? Do they have any special notoriety that is worth telling people about? And what about their reputation? What is their reputation? How long have they been in business? These are the things that you really need to consider looking at the management because, again, the management is a critical component, if you will, in this business. It is not only a critical component, but is one of the most powerful components. So number one is the management. The next thing we need to take a look at, number one, obviously, is the management. Number two are the finances. Management is incredibly important, guys, when you're looking at a network marketing company, but then so are finances. What does your company look like on the balance sheet? Now, you may not be able to see their balance sheet, but ask this question. What were their sales last year totally? Another question you have to consider about finances, are they debt-free? Because most network marketing companies are debt-free, and if yours isn't, then you, you need to, to step back and ask why. Do they have investors? That's a critical component because when companies do have investors, and sometimes they'll let you know and sometimes they won't, but when they have investors, that's critical to know because they have a say in where the company goes. Do they run a tight ship at the home office? You know, what is their home office like? Does it work? Uh, is it something, uh, is the accounting proper? Do you get your checks on time? Do they pay their checks on time? And, guys, this is a great question. Do they, do they make sure that they pay their checks on time when they said they were going to pay it? So the finances are critical. Again, the number one you got to consider is the management. And again, what is the reputation? I would Google the people and find out who they are. Number two, again, are finances. Do they pay their checks on time, and do they seem to have their act together from an accounting and financial standpoint? Number three is the home office. You have to ask this question, well, where is the home office? Good question. How many employees do they have? Because a lot of companies today are virtual companies. They have maybe a dozen employees. Some have hundreds. But how many employees do they have? Do they have their own building? This is critical because they, they need office space and they need shipping space. Are they totally computerized and ready for dramatic growth? And obviously most companies are. How many people do they have working for them? So again, 
You've got to ask all of these questions about the home office. You also need to ask this question, are they poised for growth as well? So the first thing you've got to consider is take a look at the management of the company. The second are the finances of the company, at least from a financial model. The number three is the home office. You've got to know a little bit about who runs it and know a little bit about uh, where it is. Number four, let's take a look at their shipping. Do they have their shipping department in-house or at another location? Now, if you have digital downloads, obviously shipping is online. But if you've got real products and, and brick-and-mortar products, as I call them, you know, you want to make sure that they have a shipping department. And is it in-house at their office, or do they ship from another location, as some companies do? Do they have a toll-free order line? Do they have a money-back guarantee? This is critical. Do they have a money-back guarantee? Do they ship the products out on time? And, and what is the return ratio? How many, what is the percentage of returns? And guys, you really should have less than a 2% return ratio. And you need to ask that. What's your return ratio? So the shipping department is critical. Number five, and, and again, we've gone through, you need to take a look at the management. Number two, you need to take a look at the finances. Number three, you need to take a look at the home office. Number four, the shipping department. And number five, you need to take a look at the distributor services department. This is critical. First and foremost, do they have a customer rep or a distributor services department? If they don't, uh, you need to step back and ask why. I mean, how friendly are they and how knowledgeable do they come across when you ask them questions? Do they know what they're doing? Who heads the distributor services department up? Have you talked with them? And how quickly do they respond? Here's a critical factor. The quicker that a distributor services responds to your email or request, the better. These are just some of the questions you need to know about choosing your own network marketing company. Obviously, again, you need to take a look at the management, their finances, the home office, the shipping department, the distributor services department. And I would also talk with people perhaps maybe that know a little bit about it and maybe you're even in the company. The more you know about your company, the better you're going to feel about it. And by the way, you may even consider of taking a tour of the home office the first chance you can. Meet the people in the different departments. This will give you a much better understanding of what uh, an MLM corporate office is about and who you can talk to when you call, and that's critical, putting a face to a name. It will give you a much better presentation about your, coming, about your company. Now, understand something. The network marketing company you select is huge. Be careful. Make the right choice. Get the facts. Know the basics of it and be proud that you are associated with them once you join it. Folks, I'm telling you, it's very critical that when you're looking at it to get a lot of these uh, questions answered. This is Doug and Jody Fireball. And by the way, we have free training on Monday and Wednesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Monday night is traditional network marketing training. And uh, Wednesday night is social media training for home businesses. Uh, it is actually go to passionfire.com. And you'll find an entrance into the webinar. There's no passcode needed, as well as the telephone number if you want to call. And also, if you'd like a free recruiting ebook, go to freemlmrecruitingebook.com. Freemlmrecruitingebook.com. And all you have to do is just uh, download it. It's a free book with over 200 recruiting secrets in it. It'll blow your mind. It is one of the most powerful recruiting documents out there. And I encourage you to go to freemlmrecruitingebook.com and get it. It's free. Thank you, guys. This is Doug and Jody Fireball from PassionFire.com and DFTI. Thank you, and God bless you.